All praises to Ahaya, Ashur, Ahaya, Baha Shem, Ishaya, Wah, Ruach. This is Shabbat Israel, and this is just a prophecy rewind, a quick dissertation, a very short dissertation, if you will, on what the Most High say. Again and again, I have hammered it home that the Most High have stated uh, Chicago will be the first to fall. Jamestown, Virginia will be the last standing. You have so-called elders and teachers that are not prophets that are called by the Most High will like to redirect the words of the Most High to stating that New York will be the first to fall or insinuating that New York will um rather than Chicago when it is clear and I've heard with my own ears and seen with my own eyes that Chicago will be the first to fall and numbers 12 and 6 the Bible states that if a prophet be amongst you I will make myself known to him or her in a vision or a dream I have seen the son of the most high the most high deals directly through his son there is no other way because he is the only mediator between man and the most high Ahaya. and so i've seen him he has made himself known to me he has shown me that chicago will be the first to fall and jamestown virginia will be the last standing i understand that most individuals will have a grudge if you will i know the history of our people and how stubborn and stiff neck they can be that the Most High has uh, revealed to me that this group was none other than GOCC that turned their necks to the left. They became stiff neck when he showed me this. And they would not listen to me when the end came. And this is what I'm saying now. The Most High is not a liar the most high is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should lie so on to the next level and do what thus said the most high the goc elders of the most high because just because many flee to other countries the bible says you could flee and then you enter into a cave and i'm paraphrasing here and then uh, if the bear doesn't get you 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 put your hand on the wall of the cave and ask for a snake will bite you so there's no running from the most high uh, many think that if they flee from this place that there are they are going to be uh in comfort they are going to be secure but in reality they are not under the most high shadow and like i stated recently in a previous video the most high showing me that you have 500 to 600 people that will make it out of this place called the daughter of babylon and i know the most high i must reiterate that the most high can be very uh symbolic if you will and like i stated if i've been in the military and uh, you have a whole battalion that at least uh consists of maybe in a battalion you may have a whole company or company you may have of 1500 people as opposed to what i saw uh, not even in a platoon a little bit more than uh, 100 people maybe 500 to 600 people that i saw in ranks coming out of this place so on to the next level gocc elders so on to the next level gocc you like it or not you're going to have to acknowledge who the most high sent in these last days or be prepared to perish just like the rest of them he showed me when you see syria fall so shall chicago fall the question is would you rather obey men or the most high because there we have a track record of not listening to the most high prophets and prophetess and the end let's say it's not comforting it usually results in death and you have to be out of your mind if you think that the Most High is not going to exalt the one messenger or the prophetess that is exalting his word throughout the earth. So I, this is not about me because whether the love of many have waxed cold, I care about my nation. I care about my own soul. This is not about me. You have to understand Noah prophesied for 120 years. 
And the Most High only saved eight people. So I know the end game. The question is, who will stand for righteousness? Who will stand for the Most High rather than men? Because there is a way that seems right to men, but it leads to death. I will stand on the word of the Most High because I know that his word will not come out void whether people or whether our nation of Hebrews and elders refuse to warn people. The blood is off my hands. I'm going to say it. The blood is off my hands. The blood is off my hands. And to those who refuse to acknowledge me just because I'm a woman, get over it. Get over it. Never in my life. Because you're going to have to deal with me on this side or on the other side when we get home. Thus said the Most High. Ahaya, Ashar, Ahaya, Bahashem, Yeshaya, Wa, Rewak. Or as it states in Ezekiel, the rebels shall be put to death. That's the Bible. Like it or not. There were plenty of priests. There were plenty of priests and teachers that fell in 70 AD. And those that took heed to the Most High and warning the people, they survived. Hence, therefore, some of us are alive today. Last but not least, thus says the Most High, listen to the words that he sent through his vessel, or once again, prepare to perish. And I'm from the tribe of Gad. I am a woman, and I am a prophetess. I am the mouthpiece that is speaking for heaven right now. G-O-C-C -C elders, ask your elder who I am, according to the Most High. And if he denies it, the Most High has already showed me what's going to happen. And as always, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And for those who refuse to take part in the tree of life and to drink from the fountains of living water, let them be unjust still. And the bride say, come, Yeshia, come, thy kingdom come. Amen. Amen.